What's the overriding emotion coming away from that? Well, look, I suppose, you know, it's mixed emotions, really. Uh, it mixed the magnificent with the not-so-magnificent. Uh, great days, uh, great game, great entertainment. Um, two great sides going, you know, hell for leather. Gave everything that, that, that they could, uh, and we were lucky to come out on the right side of it. You know, Bally Bowden, uh, disappointed. But what, what, what a team, uh, what a game, you know, what a competition. It's, it's everything we dream of. It's what brings us back every week. It's everything that makes the GAA what it is. Absolutely, and it's great to have a few fans back as well after, after having such empty stadiums for so long and to be able to put on that show for them as well, John. It's spectacular. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know when they're shouting over the, over the fence at you. You know, at times you wish they were back where they were. But no, it's great. Look, you know, in all seriousness, it, it, is, it is great. You know, it's been a tough year for everybody and to have people back in the stadium uh, enjoying themselves, you know, playing the game that they all love, uh, that's what it's all about. And it, it is great. It is, it is, it is great, uh, you know, no matter what the result is, it's, it's great to have it like that. Yeah, certainly well said. And you mentioned how that game ebbed and flowed. And, and you know, it may be cliche, but it, it truly did. You know, you were, I think, four up at one stage and it was level and Bowden got the better in the, the second half of extra time there as well. What was the message? You know, what, what, what got you over, over the line in the end? Just to keep doing what we were doing all the time. And we had, you know, we had, we had agreed how we would play and we just stuck to it. We stuck to the system. We trusted ourselves. We backed ourselves. Uh, they're a great team. They're great players. Uh, and, and, you know, they've been around the block. They know what it takes to win. Uh, and they have trust and confidence in themselves. And they stuck to that. They stuck to that no matter what they're faced. Same the last day. It was tight against Bridget's. Uh, coming down the home stretch, anyone could have won it. Uh, it was the same again today. But they trusted themselves, they backed themselves, and they were brave. You mentioned that word trust there three times. I want to hone in on that. Is, does that come from just the closeness of this group and, and a bit of experience as well, perhaps, that there is this inner trust amongst the playing unit that they don't have to rely the whole time on, on messages from the sideline as well, that they can manage a game? Well, it takes many, many aspects to, to win a game. It's not just one alone, and they have all of that. Uh, and they demonstrated and showed all of that today. Uh, and I think it, it is experience they've played over the years. Um, and it is, you know, camaraderie, training. There's lots of it goes into it. It's not one today, it's mm. one. It's one over the years. It's one in all those kind of wet, dark, cold nights when everybody else is at home. They're out practicing their skills, their training, they're building up their strength, their stamina. It's, it's, this is hard work that has gone in over the years, and that's what got them through today. My final question to you, John the, the manner of victory and, and how you clawed it back against Bridget's, and then you saw it out here as well, really digging deep in extra time. That must give you great belief that 2021 could be cool this year. Well, I'd be far happier if I was standing here saying we had won by a bigger margin. <laughs> we take it whatever way we, we got it. We'll take it for what it is. It's a very narrow victory over a great team, uh, and that's, we'll take that and move on.